Hi, this is Matt from Excel Pro Tech, and today I'm going to show you through the fault finding procedure for a tablet that has no power. So when a tablet has no power, this could be a number of things. It could be the power adapter itself, the cable from the power adapter to the to the tablet. It could be the connection where the power cable connects into the tablet, or it could be the battery itself. So if you've got no power, I'm just going to show you my process for sort of figuring figuring out um, which part of the tablet or which accessory it is that's causing the problem. So without further ado, so you'll notice that we have our multimeter here. That's what you're going to need to uh, to to carry this out. You are also going to need to open up your tablet to get into the nitty gritty. Right, let's, uh, let's open this up. Uh, the tablet we are working on today is a Samsung SM-T520. I think that I worked on one of these uh, a couple of weeks ago, in fact. Because it's got the, uh, the silly plastic back to it, which is uh, quite easily damaged when you're taking it off. So if you are working on this, just be careful. In fact, I'm not even sure I even uploaded that video, to be honest. I'm going to have to have a look. Okay, yep, just work your way around it uh, to get this plastic, this silly plastic backing off. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume that the power adapter works. The way that we can rule that out is either to... Uh, obviously, individually test the, the pins out on the... Uh, on the USB device. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them in get in there, but uh, let's assume that it <coughs> that it's working, it's outputting power. Let's connect this up the device itself and I guess the first thing to rule out is this cable here this connection point I mean to, to me it that feels really loose um, I, I don't think that that's going to provide power to it but let's just test it anyway we're probably going to need to remove this here Uh, let's just stick that there for now. <coughs> so, easiest thing to do to, to sort of test that this cable is working without sort of taking the, the cable apart, without taking it out, probably just put your probes across the battery like this and wait to see if your if this uh, if this charge uh, basically if this, if this charge changes on the uh, so you see that we're on 3.27 3.26 3.27 volts wise which is very low for this battery uh, it should be a 3.8 uh, volt I think or 3.6 volts so <coughs> if this um, if this voltage was going up we would know that it is getting charged from this cable here, but currently it is not getting any charge at all. So we can assume from that that this cable, this uh, this charging cable here, is broken. I mean, if you wanted to do this properly, what you would do is actually take this out, or you can measure the voltage across some of those pins. I'm not entirely sure which pin is positive, which is negative on here. So. Um, you, I guess you could find that out and put your probes on one of those points. I think my webcam is moving slightly, so let's just try <laughs> move that a bit um, closer. So I guess the other way to, to test this... Let's take that out. Now let's remove this bit of tape here. In fact, we don't even need to do that, really. Let's get 
this out of here. Just move it out of the way somewhere for the time being. <coughs> so I've got a I've got a replacement cable here. These are going for only a few pounds on eBay. So let's plunk that in. That's it. We can afford for this for that cable to be correct, and I can just uh, I can just keep that in stock if needs be. Let's just bring this closer to me because I cannot see because there's microphones in my way. So yep, let's plunk that in there. And we can literally just hook this up again. So yeah, if you want to take that uh, that cable out, let's get this straight for you. This cable out here. What you could do is bend it round, and you can measure the voltages across this uh, this micro. USB device here. So right, let's let's hook that up. Uh, I mean that point there actually does connect something to something else but it doesn't particularly matter for the point of this right and let's see my webcam is definitely moving let's see if our voltage is going up so you can see there our voltage is definitely sort of going up this device is charging So at the minute, what we can say is that it there definitely there definitely was a fault on the cable. Um, the battery, um, we're going to have to charge it up a few times just to, just to check. But this is a promising sign that it was just the cable that needed replacing. So if we connected this new cable up and the voltage still wasn't going up, it was, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was sort of still laying there at three, three point five three, three point, you know, if it was just staying there at a single sort of um, voltage, what we'd, what we'd then know is that the battery is at fault as well. So the the battery could still be a bit faulty; it could not hold a, a very good charge, and that would. Uh, We'd need to basically charge it up and just test it. So these these batteries on the Samsungs do do fail after a while. Um, again, the part itself is fairly cheap. You can uh, you know if you're gonna if this device is about sort of I think they said about three three to four years. So ideally you'd want to change a battery anyway. But uh, For the time being, this is this is fine. This is all good. Um, no problems here. I'm, I'm just going to change this cable here and have done with it, to be honest with you. But that's basically how I look at devices, how we how I fault find, and just gives you an idea of, of what to look for when you've got something that hasn't got any charge in it. So. My name is Matt from XO Pro Tech. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next video. Bye bye.